welcome to Nick's Drum Lessons. I just came across a great deal. Uh, I was at a pawn shop uh, not far from my house, and I was there looking for something else, actually. And behind a pile of amps, um, like the Marshall Stack amps, uh, was stainless steel Ludwig, mid-70s, uh, 76, 77, uh, roughly. 22-inch, um, 16-inch floor tom, uh, two rack toms, the 12-inch and the 13, so standard sizes, which is my preferred um, kit anyway. And honestly, it was in great shape. It was very dirty, very cloudy. Um, the floor tom was missing its bottom rim. Um, no biggie, I've got those in my workshop. Um, but, I mean, it had the large classic lugs, uh, had the original tom post, had the classic curved bass drum spurs. Uh, so those were all intact. All the brackets were there. Um, so yeah, very little issues. Other than it was dirty, the bass drum hoop um, was scuffed up through age. There's normal road rash on the shells, which was to be expected. Um, but I, I saw their price tag on it and I just kind of played the game as you do at a pawn shop and got it down to like nothing. Um, uh, honestly, it will probably cost me more to put new heads on it and buy spray paint and uh, than what it cost actually to bring them home. And it did come with a lot of uh, um, hardware, which I'll piece out. Um, it's not original as far as stands and uh, the bass drum pedal, um, all good stuff, it just wasn't original. So it wasn't like it was a Ludwig Speed King or anything like that. Um, but um, the restoration is gonna be fun. I hope to do it in hopefully under three weeks, but uh, who knows. Um, but yeah, enjoy watching. And at the end, I'll be playing the kit. So hopefully it goes well, thanks.
All right, so about an hour into the project, got all the hardware off the shells. The shells look really good. Other than the blemishes, uh, there's a weird white residue um, around where the collar of the uh, heads were. But I mean, other than that, I, I think the stainless steel cleaner will do wonders. There's not a lot of evidence of rush. There's a few blemishes and road rashes. Um, but nothing, nothing major. Um, even the hardware is looking really good. I don't think I'm going to have to do much to the lugs. Um, I was going to give all the lugs the typical aluminum coke cleaner uh, method, but I don't think I'm going to end up doing that. I'll just probably just just clean them with some bathroom cleaner. Uh, a couple of the rims, I'm going to go and do the aluminum uh, coke trick, uh, which I'll show here in a minute. But um, yeah, it's great. Uh, like I said, I there was no bottom rim, but I had a bottom rim from another project. Um, and that's really gunky. So it's looking good. I, I don't think there's going to be much I'm going to have to do to it. It's going to be a cool kit. I, I probably will keep this one. So that's what I always needed, more, more kits. <laughs>
All right, so I finished the stainless steel kit. Um, came out beautiful. Uh, the bass drum hoops look fantastic compared to what they were. Uh, the only thing that I had to replace was the memory lock on the bass drum post. Uh, there was parts of me that wanted to replace uh, just the normal nuts on the brackets and the tom post, but I, I'll just keep those original. Uh, I know they have the really nice Ludwig um, uh, wing bolts, uh, which would be easier because I still have the I have a key, but this kit didn't come with the key for those nuts. But uh, yeah, very little blemishes. There's little, little dings, road rashes here and there that never came out when I cleaned them. Uh, but overall, it's been about a two month journey. Um, and it wasn't because it was that hard. I just had so many other projects. Uh, I have a full teaching schedule. Um, but other than that, it sounds great so far. I am going to do some recording, which is going to be in the next segment here. And the control dots by Ludwig look awesome. I do those top and bottom. Um, why? Looks cool. I mean, no other reason. All the internal tone controls are original. Uh, normally those break off with age. Um, like I'm working on a Ludwig Vistalite now, uh, which will be in the next video. Those were all broken off over time. Bass drum is a Power Stroke 3 with a uh, black dot on there. Uh, and I did keep, as you probably saw already, I did keep a Ludwig Smooth White. Uh, I just kind of removed the, uh, the blemished uh, logo because uh, that was pretty faded. So I just took uh, some acetone and removed that. Actually, I took Goo Gone and re removed that. Uh, but yeah, other than that part, everything else is original. Other than those heads, those clear uh, uh, black dots, but it looks amazing. I couldn't be happier with it. Uh, I probably will keep this. I was going to just end up selling it, but it sounds amazing as you'll hear in a second.